Hey, good morning, everybody. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Happy Tuesday to all of you. We have a lot of things going on in the severe weather. Not only what's happening already from Invest 94L in the Northeast, a lot of flash flooding, a lot of damage and winds, and more to come. They have a lot of school closings now that wasn't closed before, so I have the information for you as well. And they're getting rescues as well. They're in a state of emergency for New Jersey and New York. Then later tonight, the storm's going to come to the south and the southeast, and it's going to bring some damage and winds and good chances for tornadoes. So if you've never been here before, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I am all year long. Remember, guys, all the links are in the description so it can save you time or whatever part you want to see. Or if you want to see about the school closings or the other information, links are in the description. Hit the like button if you like the links. Thank you so much. Now, this is going to turn to a pretty big event, guys. So do me a favor, share this on social media, help people know what the timing and the impacts are going to be on this system, because that's what I'm going over today. Now, you know me, I always wait for the updates. I didn't want to give you a 2 o'clock information. So an 8 o'clock update is Invest 94L is 20% in the next 48 hours, 50% in the next 5 days. It's actually going to be a subtropical. It's going to be front-induced, and it will turn into a tropical storm, probably Tropical Storm Wanda, as it leaves. And all this weather in the Northeast, now there's a state of emergency that was issued for New York and New Jersey because of this Nor'easter. And there is a lot of water rescues and road closures already from all this flash flooding. And here's your flash flooding storm reports. You can see there's already a whole bunch going on and there's more to come. Plus this next system that's going in South and Southeast will be carrying to the Northeast as well. Now there's been a lot of updates as far as the schools and what's going on because of this big system. Originally, they were not closed. Now there's a lot of schools that are closed. And I've got this link in the description so you can go check out your school if you're in school and go see if your school is open or closed. Hopefully it's closed because these roads are pretty dangerous and you really should stay off the roads. Now this system is going to carry over into the northeast. It's going to bring a lot more rainfall and some damage and winds. And so far, it looks like the GFS was right. It's going to be a little bit more offshore than inland like the Euro did show yesterday. Then later on tonight, the system is going to come into the south. In the southeast, it's going to bring tornadoes, it's going to bring damage and winds, and it's going to come right back into the northeast for this weekend, and it's going to get more heavy rainfall. There's going to be a lot of flash flooding already. You're already in the warnings and watches. So all the way till this morning, you have the marginal in the green, the slight risk in the yellow. And as you go through today, it's going to move a little bit more towards the New England states. But with the system twirling, it's going to drop a lot of heavy rainfall every hour as it's going to by. And as you go by this afternoon into about 10 o'clock tonight, then you're going to get a second whip coming from the Boston section. And it's going to whip around some more rainfall all the way until tomorrow morning. Then it's finally going to start moving away around 11, 12 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, and that'll be about it of that. So as the nor'easter goes by the northeast, then you're going to get this very deep trough that's going to bring the severe weather event for the south and the southeast. And this is going to bring a lot of cold air with it. Matter of fact, the cold air is what's suppressing the tornado issue for the southeast. But as the storm comes in from the south, the winds will pick up as you go from Nebraska, Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas. Then it will carry over into the south and the southeast. And the most of the damage and winds will be in the Gulf of Mexico. However, Louisiana is going to be getting a lot of bad storms. Now, with this big high pressure, it is bringing cold air. And with this cold air, it's going to suppress a lot of the dew points from coming up, from creating a lot of severe thunderstorms for the south and southeast. So actually, your tornado threat is going to weaken as it goes to the southeast. And most of the winds is still going to be offshore. You are going to feel it all the way up to Louisiana, maybe southern Mississippi. But the rest of y'all shouldn't feel too much. Maybe a little bit for northern Florida. And when you look at your dew points, you can see as all this meets up with the cold air coming down, it's going to get a big clash of very warm dew points, very cold air coming down. And this is going to start your severe weather event. And it's going to move to the southeast as it goes by. But you can see that all the clashing of the warm dew points, the cold air coming down, now, as this gets by Texas and goes towards Louisiana, it's going to calm down a little bit right around there for Louisiana and Mississippi. You're kind of losing the oomph in the storm, and it's not going to be too much of a severe weather event. It will be along the Gulf Coast, but it just dew points are strong, and it will carry some storms over to the southeast as well. Now, your severe weather for today, you have the marginal in the green, the slight risk in the yellow, and your enhanced section in this brown. And you do have a good chance for tornadoes as well. 
2% in the green, 5% in the brown, and you'll win. You have a chance for a significant win, especially in this black section, and significant hail as well. All this black section right here is a chance for significant hail. So you got to watch out for hail, winds, and tornadoes. But for your chances for tornadoes, this is your 2% and your 5%. This is your cities and your states. Now, as this carries over for tomorrow to the south and the southeast, you do have the marginal in the green, the slight risk in the yellow. You do have a chance for tornadoes for tomorrow as well. 2% in this green, 5% in this brown, and it is going to bring in some wind with it. But for your tornadoes for tomorrow, here's your cities and your states. Then as you go into Thursday, this is going to carry on over to the southeast, and now you've got the southeast marginal and slight risk for severe weather. And it is a 15% chance for northern Florida, uh, the coast of North Carolina, and South Carolina. You'll have the biggest chance as this goes back up on that high ridge. Now, your tornado threat is going to grow at 1 and 2 p.m. today for the south. And as you go into this afternoon, 6, 7, 8 o'clock, it's really going to be the strongest around 8 o'clock. You have 11 out of 10 chance for tornadoes for southern Texas, as well as for Oklahoma and Kansas. Then as you go into 10 o'clock and 11 o'clock, it'll start dying down, but southern Texas still has that issue all the way until tomorrow morning. 8 o'clock, 10 o'clock in the morning tomorrow, it's going to start ramping back up for eastern Texas, and it will carry over from noon to 1 and 2 o'clock tomorrow afternoon for, for Louisiana, and then as you go into 4 and 5 o'clock, then you got a strong chance for either water spouts or tornadoes or water spouts coming on land as a tornado for Louisiana. You have almost a 12 out of 10 chance for 5 p.m. for tomorrow. This will carry over towards Mississippi and Alabama as you go until tomorrow night at 10 o'clock. It will be coastal only. It won't reach real far up the states because of the cold air keeping all the dew points down. As you go into Thursday morning to 3 o'clock in the morning, it's going to carry across the panhandle for chances for tornadoes. And here's a look with the southeast as you go into 3 and 4 o'clock in the morning on Thursday. It goes across the panhandle of Florida. And as you go into noontime for Thursday, it's going to start bulking up for western side of Florida as all this passes over northern Florida. So as you go into 10, 11 o'clock tonight, then the rain is going to start adding up, especially for Oklahoma and Kansas. And as you go into tomorrow morning, then it's going to start affecting Texas and Oklahoma even more. Now, as you go into about 9, 10 o'clock, then it's going to be widespread across Texas all the way till noontime for eastern Texas. Once you get into tomorrow afternoon, 4 or 5 o'clock in the afternoon, it's going to start adding up even more for Louisiana. Then as you go into tomorrow night, then it's going to start moving from Louisiana over into Mississippi all the way till midnight. Then as you go into Thursday morning, it's going to affect more of Mississippi, going to Alabama and the Panhandle of Florida. The rainfall will start dying off, not be as heavy, but you still got chances for tornadoes. And everything you see in the purple is 50 miles per hour wind gusts. And you can see the next three days, it does add up pretty strong for New Mexico, Colorado, Kansas, Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, and portions of Louisiana as well. But it starts dying off as it goes towards Mississippi because that cold air coming in, keeping them dew points down from you getting any storms. Even when you go five days, you can see it don't build into anything. So the main threat is going to be Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, Arkansas, and Louisiana. The only thing that's different is a NAM 3K is showing as all this goes by the south and the southeast. It could be chances for 40 and 50 miles per hour wind gusts going anywhere from Jackson, Mississippi, and north, northern Alabama, northern Georgia, and eastern Tennessee. That was the only thing that was different between the two models. And your wind gusts in the northeast is going to still continue and be pretty major. According to the Euro, you have 50s in all this orange, you have 60s in this red, and you have hurricane force wind gusts around the edge of Boston, Barnstable, right off the coast. So you need to be careful, especially on the coast. That's where the most fierce wind gusts will be. The GFS is showing pretty much the same thing. You're going to get high 60s for Long Island, but you still got the 60s and 70s that's going around the New England states, mostly by Boston and Barnstable. So it is trending on multiple models that you will be getting almost 70, if not 70 plus miles per hour wind gusts. Even the NAM 3K is showing the same information. All three models are showing you'll get 40 miles per hour wind gusts all the way up till you get to New York and the New England states. Then it's going to turn into 50s and go into 60s just like yesterday. The GFS was correct. It's going to turn into 60s and maybe low 70s along the coast.
But an AM3 case shows it's going to be anywhere from Altoona, Pennsylvania, and east. Also from Maryland, Delaware, Jersey, it's all going to be 40 with pockets of 50 miles per hour wind gusts. The worst of it is going to be from New York all the way to the New England states. Definitely 40 and 50 miles per hour wind gusts, but the worst of it is still towards Boston, Barnstable, Rhode Island. Y'all going to be in the 60 miles per hour wind gusts with a chance for 70s along the coast. And in my experience, wherever there's at least 50 miles per hour wind gusts, you need to watch out because there's going to be chances for power outages. So you can see as Invest 94L comes in, it brings y'all a lot of heavy rainfall for the next 24 hours. Then the system is going to twirl around and bring some more towards Boston, Barnstable, New England states as it twirls and goes back into the Atlantic Ocean. But then as this system comes from the south and the southeast and curves up to the northeast, it will bring y'all some more rainfall coming and it's going to be even heavier for you guys. But according to National Weather Service, the blue is an inch, the red is the purple to dark red to for two inches, bright red is three to four inches, and the orange is five to seven inches, which we saw yesterday. It is not there showing today. For today, this is your rainfall rates. As we go into tomorrow, it's going to come into the south and the southeast, and then it's going to move to the mid-Atlantic on day three. Then that's going to carry up to the northeast as well and bring them some more rainfall. So here's your rainfall rates for the next two days. For the next three days, it's going to grow into the southeast, be a little bit less because of that cold air pocket, so that's a good thing. Next five days, then it's going to carry right back up to the northeast. And you see you're around three to four inch mark. You're not getting any of those seven inches like it showed yesterday anymore, so that's a good thing. So as you can see, Invest 94L bringing the storms over mostly in New York and northern Jersey as you go all the way until tonight in this afternoon but once you get about six seven o'clock it's going to swing back around on the boston section going to bring heavy winds and a lot of rainfall for them and that's when you got your best chance for those hurricane force wind gusts so it looks like boston and barnstable rhode island y'all just need to be aware of this wind gust because this is going to whip around one more time after you go through all this today so as we take a look with high resolution rapid refresh, you can see the majority of the moisture, all the rainfall goes towards New York. And once you get around 4 p.m. this afternoon, Invest 94L is gonna whip around one more time by Boston and the New England states, but it will be going around all afternoon long with that second whip of the rainfall and it will stay there all night long. And once you get about four, five o'clock in the morning, it's still bringing that heavy onshore flooding from the low pressure system. Then as Invest 94L moves away, so will the rainfall. And then while the Northeast is still getting the storm from Invest 94L around nine o'clock tonight, that's when the setup is gonna begin for the central US and the South. And you're gonna see it's gonna stretch all the way down towards Texas. It's gonna bring all this warm moisture, all these storms from this cold air meeting up with it all the way up to the central US. And this is all the way until seven o'clock in the morning. Look at that big band of rain and storms that's going across Texas. And so far, it looks like it goes right over Dallas. Now, this will continue to carry over for Arkansas and Louisiana, but you can see at the same time that the front gets broken apart. It goes all the way towards Louisiana and Mississippi around five o'clock tomorrow afternoon, but the rest of it starts heading north. And then as you go into tomorrow evening, you see it carries over to northern Mississippi with some rainfall all the way until midnight. Then it goes over to the southeast towards Florida and bring some more rainfall for them. You can see the big line of hail cores going all the way from Oklahoma all the way down to Texas. Then as you go until tomorrow morning and keep going, you can see all the hail cores that's coming with this system. This is gonna bring a lot of damage and winds and chances for tornadoes. Look at that, hail cores all the way up. This is gonna bring a lot of strong storms, guys. Then as you go to midnight from tonight, it's gonna to carry from Texas into Arkansas and Louisiana. You're going to get a lot of storms there. There's a lot of hail cores for you as well, especially by 4 p.m. tomorrow. You have it all down Arkansas. You got it all down Louisiana. And there's a good chance for tornadoes, especially. And once you get into 4 p.m. tomorrow, it really is bad for Louisiana all the way till 5 and 6. That's when it's really going to be bad, from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. for Louisiana tomorrow. Then you can see the hail cores around 8 p.m. go across southeast Louisiana and southern Mississippi. So there is chances for strong storms, even tornadoes, as this passes by, guys. And then when it goes into 1 a.m. on Thursday, you can already see the hail cores coming from offshore, maybe water spouts, and you can see possibilities for tornadoes that can come from the Panhandle of Florida. Now to try to give you a little bit of peace of mind, 
and all this crazy weather that's going on with all these problems that you are dealing with, today I want to read Psalm 9. I will praise thee, O Lord, with my whole heart. I will show forth all thy marvelous works. I will be glad and rejoice in thee. I will sing praise to thy name, O thou most high. When mine enemies are turned back, they shall fall and perish in thy presence. For thou hast maintained my right and my cause. Thou sattest in the throne judging right. Thou hast rebuked the heathen. Thou hast destroyed the wicked. Thou hast put out their name forever and ever. O thou enemy, destructions are come to a perpetual end. And thou hast destroyed cities. Their memorial is perished with them. But the Lord shall endure forever. He hath prepared his throne for judgment, and he shall judge the world in righteousness. He shall minister judgment to the people in uprightness. The Lord also will be a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in times of trouble. And they that know thy name will put their trust in thee. For thou, Lord, hast not forsaken them that seek thee. Sing praises to the Lord, which dwelleth in Zion. Declare among the people his doings. When he maketh inquisition for blood, he remembereth them. He forgetteth not the cry of the humble. Have mercy upon me, O Lord. Consider my trouble, which I suffer of them that hate me. Thou that liftest me up from the gates of death, that I may show forth all thy praise in the gates of the daughter of Zion. I will rejoice in thy salvation. The heathen are sunk down in the pit that they made, and the net which they hid in their own foot taken. The Lord is known by the judgment with he executeth. The wicked is snared in the work of his own hands. Hageon, Selah. The wicked shall be turned into hell, and all the nations that forget God. For the needy shall not always be forgotten. The expectation of the poor shall not perish forever. Arise, O Lord, let not man prevail. Let the heathen be judged in thy sight. Put them in fear, O Lord, that the nations may know themselves to be but men. Selah. Amen. <laughs> Have a very blessed day today, guys. Please Heed the warnings of this heavy rainfall and these potential tornadoes. It is going to be a severe weather event. Thank you so much for visiting my channel today. Hope you have a very blessed and a very happy Tuesday. All power. All glory. Does go to Yahweh. God of Jacob. Our Father. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah, guys. Have a very great day today.